there's no advertising done for the Bitcoin network. There's nobody ad getting paid to do advertising for it. But you see other altcoins and other networks do their own advertising, do their own marketing. And what they're trying to market themselves is as better than Bitcoin. So providing a solution that Bitcoin couldn't provide. But in reality, Bitcoin is just focusing on what needs to be worked on right now. So right now it's focusing on security. So it's making sure that the network is immutable and it can be hacked and it can be changed. So that's why most people that have Bitcoins are just saving it right now because it's not meant to be spent right now. It's not right. economically viable to be spent right now because of what's being worked on right now. So the security is being worked on for the network. And then on top of that, the next two things that need to be worked on is the term is fungibility and then scalability. Fungibility is just a word for making sure that the Bitcoins, say I have Bitcoins and I send it to you. In order for Bitcoin to be 100% fungible, we, it would have to be private. Like the Bitcoin that I give to you is the same Bitcoin everybody else uses and it's the same Bitcoin you're getting. Basically I'm saying that like, there's no trace, there's no bad trace with the Bitcoins that I sent to you. Whereas that's what you're kind of trying to see happen nowadays. Kind of countries and governments are trying to kind of create these systems that you can kind of provide an identity, you kind of trace the Bitcoin, but that's a problem with Bitcoin. It's not 100% fungible right now. Like the Bitcoin that I give to you isn't the same as the Bitcoin somebody else used, it has different history and stuff like that. So once Bitcoin becomes more fungible, so basically more private, that's all, that's all I'm saying. So once better privacy comes on the Bitcoin network, I think that's when we're naturally gonna see it start to scale to a medium of exchange. And we already are seeing the technology out there, like the Lightning Network, people might have heard of that technology. But it's still, Lightning Network is still at its beginning stage for being a, a layer two um, on top of the Bitcoin network to provide that medium of exchange. And I still don't, I'm still not convinced that Lightning Network will be that layer two. I think it might be another, another network or side chain, but that's neither here nor there. But uh, yeah, so you, you see all these other altcoins like Bitcoin Cash trying to say, hey, we provide cheap, fast transactions, so this is why you should use our network. And they have success for a time, like a short period of time, but if you look at the price over the long period of time, it's just, it's more of a pump and dump thing. And there's no real long-term potential. And it's, it's bad because over there, it's bad for them because over the winter, it, it did cost quite a bit to transact on the Bitcoin network. But right now, if you want to make a Bitcoin transaction, it's pennies, it's completely pennies. And it's actually, the reason why it was so expensive was because these other altcoins were actually using their computer power to spam the Bitcoin network with transactions to make it more expensive and then market their coin like theirs isn't expensive to transact. So it's just everybody trying to kind of, like they're all, like a lot of them are salesmen, you know, trying to sell their own thing, but mm -hmm. You have to look at what has long-term potential and Bitcoin has always been like that. Sorry, I got another question. You said something about the Lightning Network, right? So that was like an improvement thing. So what, like in terms of scalability and fungibility, like do you, have you heard of anything that's gonna help on that? Like, Oh, I, that's the thing. Like I constantly hear solutions being discussed for layer two solutions. So that's why right. I mentioned side chains as well. So you mm -hmm. have Lightning Network, you have side chains, and then you even have kind of, it is an alternative currency, but it's a very privacy focused alternative currency. So you can kind of, it can kind of peg itself on the Bitcoin blockchain and be its own currency and use this thing called atomic swaps where like the currencies swap in between each other, like while a transaction is made just to make sure like that fungibility, that privacy is there. So it's hard to say, you know, a Lightning Network might be it. It might be the layer two solution, but I just don't see it. But there are no. there are times like right. the side chain. Right. Yeah, no, honestly, I, I do hear a lot of layer two solutions being talked about. But the thing is, you have to get consensus from everybody. Right. Yeah. 
So that's why you're even starting to see side chains happen because you don't need consensus to use a side chain. It's another voluntary network that you're using. And I think it'll just take time to see what that best layer two solution will be for Bitcoin. So it might take some time, but I think, I think within five, 10 years, we'll for sure have a, a good layer two solution and Bitcoin can be used for medium exchange. Cool. Have you been to one before? Uh, okay, how did you hear about this? I saw you did because I believe the session. Okay, cool. That's cool. You learn anything today? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm actually into cryptocurrency. So just come to, to the talk and to learn more. Yeah, cool. That's good. Well, if nobody has any more questions, I think we'll wrap up today. We'll have another one one month from now. If you there's a meetup app. So if you go on your phone and you type in meetup, there's an app that you can download and type in Brampton Bitcoin Meetup and you'll see when we have them. But it'll be same place, same time. Well not same time next month. I think it's the first week every month on the Sunday, but it's from three to four. But yeah, you can find the information on the meetup app. Just type in Brampton Bitcoin Meetup. And join the group, and you'll find out all the information. But thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you. Hope you guys learned.